Regex, what does it mean? Why does it mean? And why do you want to use it? What do all these characters mean? We're going to learn about it in this video, okay? Regex looks very complicated. What, what does this mean? You're going to find this out in this video, okay? It's going to look complicated. Trust me, it's not. Regex is pattern matching. Pattern matching is a way of matching patterns. The patterns we're talking about in this video, my friends, is textual patterns. Plain text. The beauty of plain text is that you can pattern match it. And we are going to pattern match it. You basically write archaic magic symbols and you get back the text you want, okay? Very cool. Um, I love regex. I'd say it's the Linux user Sudoku puzzle, okay? Once you start learning regex and running regexes, you can't stop regexing. You just wanna regex, regex, and regex everything. That's what you want to do. You will want to do this after this video. Let's jump right into it. So I have this file called rag.txt. All this, all this is William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, okay? Right. So there is many ways to use regex. Every programming language has an implementation of regex. For example, Python has re. You type import re and then you can use re.find and regex things. But Unix and Linux has grep, the tool grep. We're gonna use grep today. It's a bonus grep tutorial. Here we go. So I'm gonna grep for thy in Romeo and Juliet. I just want only the word thy. I don't care about the rest of the line. So I just give regex dash o. We can count the amount of thys. There is 156 thys, okay? This is literally regex here, by the way. T-H-Y. That is some regex. That is saying, find a literal T, then a literal H, then a literal Y. No special characters going on here. I'm sure you can understand it. Now, what if I want to look for all the capital T-H-Ys? There's 19 capital T-H-Ys. If we do some really interesting calculations here, 156 plus 19 gives us 175. I know I use Python for my calculator, don't at me. I'm not smart enough to use BC. We can now use regex to combine our searches here. I know I could use the case insensitive option for regex, but I'm doing a demonstration. This is called a character set match here. What do you think this is doing? This is gonna match lowercase t or a capital T. And so that'll match lowercase t or capital T thys, which should give us 175. 175, magic. That's regex for you, everyone. But these are very simple examples. Let's do some more. I have this file called sample.txt. It is sample text. If I want to look for the eyes, I can grab for eyes in sample.txt. There's some eyes, okay? Now we're going to talk about boundaries, line boundaries. If I want to just find this line, this I at the start of the, the text, I use the caret character, shift six, to find just the, this is the start of the line and an I, okay? So, this is also used in Vim to jump to the start of the line. How do I do it in, how do I match the end of the line? There is a T at the end of the line. Uh, this one, how do I match this? So I, to do that, I just put the dollar sign. Well done. If you use Vim, you would know that. Vim uses these characters. So these are called line boundaries and we can set our match in a line. Well, actually, they're anchors is their technical name. There are special characters. For example, the dot matches any character. So if I search for just dot, it matches everything. And you saw there, if I matched, if I search for T dot, it matches T and then one character, right, afterwards. And then there is also the star character, which says match the previous character any number of times. So now it's gone T, any character, and then continue to the end, so it's any number of times. Look there, any number of times. There are also many other special characters that we're not going to talk about just now. I'll, I'll show them to you in a demonstration later because demoing is the best way to learn. Uh, these are these are going to be, though, the star character, which we talked about. That matches the T um, and then any number of times. Uh, and then there is also the, uh, the plus character, which is one or more. There's the question mark, which is zero or one. You're going to learn these as you go, okay? Don't worry too much about them for now. There is also something very important called like we can repeat a match group. So if I want to match, uh, want to search for Twitter, I can do TT like that. But I don't want to do just T. This is this is tedious. Okay, Ugh, I don't want to do that. I want to do I want to do T. So a letter. But then I can show you. I can repeat this. So this says repeat the previous set or group. There we go. So this is now repeated that twice. Therefore we have Tita. Cool. All right, now how do we get email addresses? Grep star sample.txt. Oh no, this is not an email. It's almost like I planned this. 
So how are we going to get email addresses? The eagle-eyed amongst you might have noticed that these are all at the start of the line. So we should first include a word boundary. I'm going to use dash e here for extended regex. So we can go word boundary. So the start of the line, then an at sign. Uh, close it. But that hasn't worked because we need something up to the at sign. So just a dot. Okay, that didn't work because that is just one character. But I want any number of characters. Oh no, that didn't work either. I thought this would just match this, but it hasn't. Because that's, this is also matching any characters, remember? So it's matching the space bar, the space key. So instead, I'm going to put in A to Z, like that. So match any character between A to Z any number of times. There we go. That's more like it. Then after that, we want to match any number of characters to the end of the line. There we go. So that gets our emails. There we go. This is not a very good email, Rajax, I know. But it works for the purposes of this example and shows some cool little things. And this is all nicely anchored together with the start and the end of the line. Our pattern, A to Z. Again, that's any A to Z character. But because we put the star, repeat as much as we want up until the at sign. There we are. Then dot, again, dot is anything, any number of times to the underline, because this is the format of our file. Okay, cool. Now let's do another example. I have copied this text into this website, regex101.com. It is a very, very pog website, friends, for showing you how it works and for building regex is a bit like a puzzle piece. Let's match the IP address. So first of all, an IP address is one to three characters followed by a dot, repeated three times, and then the last character, which is also one to three. We want zero hyphen nine. Okay, that matches everything, but it matches them all individually. So you see there are three, so I can do zero hyphen nine, and zero hyphen nine, and that matches the first two, but it doesn't get this one. Why is that? Because this has to be optional, right? An IP address is only one guaranteed. It doesn't have to have the second or third number in on the first, before the first dot. So I can put the question mark here to say only. This is now optional. So this says the previous uh, thing, the previous group, um, the previous token, I should say, is optional. It's optional. Okay, that this is looking better. But we're missing the dots here. So I need to put in a literal dot. Remember, the dot is a special character. So if I want to match the dot, you have to escape it using backslash, okay? But now, look, these say match one, match two, match three. These will all be separate matches. We don't want that. We want to group these together. So I can actually group this in parentheses like this. Okay? Now you see match one, two, three is the same, but I can now repeat what we've put in our parentheses three times. There we go. So we now are matching. Look, match one is the whole thing. Is the whole thing. Is the whole thing. But we're missing the last part, and that's because this part here matches the dot, okay? But the last one doesn't end in a dot, so we don't need it. So we can just write this out again. So instead of typing 0 hyphen 9, I can actually put backslash D in. This is called a meta escape, and this matches a digit. You see there it says equivalent 0 hyphen 9. Okay, now I just want to do that. Um, again, the same thing. Last one, optional. Uh, last one, optional. There we go. So now you see our IP addresses are completely matched. Match one, it's bordered, it's the whole thing, okay? That's very important. So you see how we built that from the ground up? It's not too hard, and this thing explains everything for us. Look how amazing this is. If we want to be really smart, we can actually border these as well. So start of the line, end of the line. There we go, same thing, but it's a bit cleverer. So what is this doing? This is graphing for one to three numbers and then a dot, okay? One to three numbers and then the, a literal dot, which is this bit here. Optionally, the two and three, one, two, three. Uh, then it repeats that pattern three times. One time, two time, three time. Then we are doing the same thing without the dot at the end here, but we're using the meta escape slash D for a digit, bounded by the start and the end of the line. There we go, it's that easy. Copy. Paste that in here, grab e sample. Oh, I did not copy. Oh, I did not put in the quotes. You've got to use quotes, friends. There we go. Did not work. Why did that not work? Did I 
Yes, okay, so this is... So, I lied to you a little bit. Uh, these slash Ds only work in certain types of regexes, which is not supported by grep. You see here I've got PCRE2 selected, which is the Perl regex. And to access the Perl regex inside of grep, you need to give it the dash P flag and not the dash E. That's why it didn't work. So give it P if your regex doesn't work. And then try E. Whatever. Anyway, that worked. There we go. We built that up from the ground up. And you probably understand how that works quite simply now because you've seen it. But remember, if you hadn't seen it, that would look so confusing to you. You would have no idea what was going on. You'd be like, Bwah! what do all these numbers mean? Look at, just look at, just look at them again. Look, look at, look at how insane, look at how insane this looks. What is that? You don't know. I didn't know until I wrote it. And now when I come back to maintain it, I won't know either. That's the beauty of regex though. You get to do all the fun all over again, okay? As the old adages, ad, 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 um, as the old adage goes, teach a man to regex and he shall pattern match for life. Show a man to regex and he'll start panicking. Show a man regex he wrote one year ago and he'll also start panicking. But have fun deciphering the puzzle. Good night.